everybody hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day in this video we are going to be making a new rig i got these rx 580s refurbished from msi for 169 each figured it was a good deal for basically being a brand new card just a used looking box and then i have these 1660 supers that were on sale at best buy which was a pretty good deal i think it was 265 for each one um yeah they're going for upwards of 300 so i figured it was a good deal so my plan is to put six cards on my old test bench and make that a full rig and i'll take these two and i might squeeze them into the other rigs maybe toss one on there so that ninth card will read on hive just because it's bothering the shit out of me and then i might throw one on here just because why not throw a little color into it because these are the rgb versions as you can see i have all six risers and the pcie connections all taped up ready to go if you haven't noticed i have a server psu that i have not used yet I've never tried to use one of these. Seems pretty cut and dry, but who knows? Um, that is going to be a later video where I disassemble that RX 580 rig that's up top. I'm gonna swap out the other PSU that's in there for the server power supply. All right, so I wanna open up these cards first, see how they look. Like I said, these are refurbished. So hopefully they're uh, not all banged up, but who knows? It actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's in real good shape. All right, let's open the others. I'm actually pleasantly surprised they look brand new literally nothing wrong with them physically which is great perfect for resale because i'm not going to be beating on the cards yeah let's toss this in a rig get these things up and running so i took the m.2 out of this motherboard i've shown that to you guys in previous videos figured i would do that off camera this time um again we're using a cheap power supply Nothing crazy. I'm going to throw the top of the rig on. All right, start slapping some cards on. There you have it. All six GPUs are installed and tightened up. Now I'm going to flip this around just to plug everything in. I'm still pleasantly surprised how good these cards look for being refurbished. You would think they would be like used looking, you know?
All right, so because I only have two splitters, I made the decision to use one the VGA cables or the PCIe cables to plug in two cards. Each one will do two cards. I'm sure it's not recommended, but I have did this before on my RX 580 rig, the MK2 versions. So I know it works. As long as you undervolt them, you should be good. My Hive OS RX 580s are running sub 70 watts in Hive OS, which is amazing. So as long as I can clock these ones the same, we shouldn't have any issues. All right, so we got all the, the riser connections, the USBs hooked up. We have all the graphics cards powered. We also have all the PCIe risers powered. So now I'm gonna flip this around, plug in all the PCIe connections to the motherboard, and we'll go from there. All right, so I preloaded Hive OS onto this USB. So I'm gonna put this into the rig. As you guys know, I have screens for all of my rigs. Gonna plug this in, like so. And the fourth GPU is the one that's in the display. So that would be this one. And then prior to the video I made a new ethernet cable and I actually got these nice I don't even know what the hell this thing's called but it's like a it's like a flexible end to help not put strain on the wire when you bend it into a rig so I thought those are pretty cool I gotta run this up through the rack to the 24 neck gear switch that I have up on the top shelf so let me do that and I'll be right back all right, so I ran the new Ethernet cable. It's ready to go down on the bottom shelf for when I plug into the AAA PDU with the rig. Obviously, that's the spot for it. I'm going to test the rig with this Ethernet cable, just plugging it into the five port switch I have over here, just for the time being. I wanna be able to test this rig out to see what it's pulling for wattage. Now I have the watt meter plugged into the wall PSU cords plugged into that I want to plug in the PSU all right so I plugged in the uh, Molex connectors let's power this thing on right, let's hope for no smoke all right so we're actually gonna cut the video right here I'm gonna make a part two doing a basic Polaris BIOS mod on these cards. Currently they're pulling 24.4 mega hash. We're gonna see if we can increase that by doing so. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and please join us on Discord, we'd love to have you. I appreciate you all for being here and we'll see you next time.